Hey there, it's Angela Raspers, your Next Chapter Business Mentor, coming to you live from Bayview, talking to you this morning about the concept of the NSOF matrix, which is all about helping you decide on strategies for future growth of your business. Now, I wrote about this in a blog post yesterday, and I'll share that link in the bottom or underneath this feed as well. But I wanted to pop in and have a chat to you about what are the opportunities that are available for you for growth within your business, depending on what stage of business that you're at. So, excuse me, by the end of this video, you'll have a very clear idea about which of the four quadrants are most appropriate for you to work on your business growth. Now, I'll also put um, an image below this video that explains NSOF's um, matrix as well. But basically, you have two sides to it. On one side is markets, and on the other side is products. Or obviously, or not obviously, but in many of our cases, services instead, because we're in service-based businesses. Now, if you're at the early beginning of your business, in the, the startup, almost the first year or so stage, your growth strategy is all around penetration. Now, that means taking your existing products to your existing clients or your potential clients. And your pure focus here in that first quadrant is marketing. It's all about marketing deeper. Now, by that, I mean looking at experiences and challenges and opt-ins and trainings and other things that will bring your type of clients into interaction with you to see what it's like to be inside your head, to understand the way in which you are available to provide services. So your growth is all about penetrating the market or the niche that you have decided to work within. Okay, the next stage from there is market development, where you're taking an existing product, but you're taking it out into a fresh new market. And that is all about what I call marketing more broadly, and it's very much about increasing your visibility. So you've got products or you've got services, you do already have that ability to make sales and are enjoying um, a distinct profit margin, but you're wanting to broaden who is reach who you are reaching with your messages and your services. So that is about area two of the grid where you are marketing broadly and using visibility as your core growth strategy. Now that visibility is all about advertising, about speaking, about networks, about creating your content and doing Facebook lives and things like that. Now the third quadrant, you often get to this when you are at the stage of business where you're at what I call the deepening stage. Now you've got a track record. You've usually been in business for around two to five years and you've got this regularity of income. You've got some more uh, predictability in your profit margins. And this is where you are going to take a new product into an existing market. So your, your market and your niche already understands who you are and what you provide. And the key skill here is about developing deeper. It's about listening to your audience, it's about understanding what their needs are and bringing something new to the table. Now an example of that um, is something that I have just launched lately. It's a virtual book club. And this is something that I know that my audience will love because they're all bibliophiles like me, adore learning business and personal development from books. And this is in relation to, to dinners that I run in Sydney and Canberra and for people who can't make it to the dinners. So that is an example of developing something that will go deeper and, and take care of my audience. I'm going to enjoy it as well, which is very, very important when it comes to marketing and development. And that is a deepening strategy. But there's a fourth quadrant, which is very exciting. This one is about diversification, taking new products to entirely new audiences. And this one is definitely at a stage of business where you are bedded down and you are in a strong growth strategy, but you're wanting to try something new. Now, um, the, what diversification looks like is different for every business, but I want to give you a couple of examples so you can see whether or not there's that potential for you as well. Now, both of these ladies I write about in the blog post, they're members of my Diamond Mastermind and they've been in business for quite some time. Now one of them, Wendy, takes care of global mobility, helping um, create value with the clients that are moved around to international postings. But her background and that, that strategy and that particular development of the business is very strong and working well. But she also has a background as, as being a clinical psychologist and she has got herself out of the scenario where she was running a typical practice and now she has seen that other psychologists also want this type of mentoring to help break out of the norm. So she has created, she has diversified her offerings in an entirely new market 
with an entirely new product and created the Practice Accelerator, which takes care of those psychologists who want to get out of that associate trap of work, so to speak. So a great example of diversification and introducing a brand new revenue stream for her business. Another one of my driving clients is Sarah Gillis, who has been in the migration industry for 25 years absolute incredible levels of expertise. So a very established audience, very strong growth strategies that are taking care of that part of her business. But in comes diversification. What Sarah noticed is that at the earliest stages of their careers, there is many registered migration agents who need guidance and mentoring. Okay. And so she has cre created the Registered Migration Agents Network, including a conference and also a mastermind um, experience where they can tap into her expertise in those early stages of business development. So again, those are not her classic audience. Her classic audience are people who want to bring employees into the country or bring partners into the country. Very different audience. A, a diversification strategy that has opened an entirely new revenue stream for her, which is going to be fantastic this year as it gets developed further. So my question for you is what stage of business are you at? Which of those four um, quadrants within Ansoft's matrix is appropriate for you? Are you going to market deeper? Are you going to market broader? Are you going to develop deeper or are you going to develop broader? So those four different categories. The blog post link will explain these in more detail, but there is always an opportunity for growth once you are anchored in who you are, what you offer and who your clients are. So there's a thought for the day, a rather lengthy thought for the day for you to have a look at those growth strategies. And of course, if you'd like some assistance with identifying where the opportunities are for you, you can always book a strategy session with me. That's something I would love to do. Pull apart your business with you, put it back together in a whole new form. This is Angela Raspis heading off for the day to now run one of my mastermind groups. So I hope you have a, a wonderful Wednesday wherever you are. Take care.